Hey everyone, how's it going today? I am turning this into this in Photoshop, so stay tuned. This. How do I sound now? What's going on everyone? Alexander, joffoxatari.com. Hope everyone's doing all right. People have asked me why I do this. Well, it serves as my slate, my clapperboard, so to speak, so I can sync easily audio and post to my video. That's why I do this. So today we are talking the anatomy body paint photo shoot I did and the effect I used within Photoshop to achieve that look and that style of the photo shoot. So if you're interested, let's jump into Photoshop and see what's up. All right, here we have our image of Steph. Shay did a remarkable job, Faces by Shay, check her out on Instagram. Uh, she did an amazing job on stuff. I really liked how the photo shoot came out. There's a couple of things on my end I would have done a little differently, such as my light placement. You can see this, uh, this shadow from her hand here. Um, so um, I definitely have some uh, critique for myself, but uh, nonetheless, that, that little shadow will go away with this effect we're about to apply or it won't be as noticeable. So what we're talking about today is neural filters. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is Adobe Photoshop 2021 version 22.0. Uh, within that version of Photoshop or this year's version of Photoshop are a lot of new features. The one I'm gonna talk about today is neural filters. So as always, let's duplicate our layer, Command J, and go up to filter and neural filters. Now this is a new uh, plugin, AI plugin uh, that Adobe is using. It's still in the beta phase for a lot of the features such as skin smoothening and de-aging and all sorts of other features they have. All right, so here's one of the beta filters for uh, making your facial expressions a little different. So say I want to look a little more happy. Some people say I look like a grumpy cat sometimes. Let's just change that and look happy. Put it up to 33 and let's let it process and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I don't really see any practical application for that feature anytime soon. The one I'm gonna talk about today is style transfer. That one caught my eye uh, in utilizing uh, various effects and filters to achieve the look I'm, I'm trying to do with this anatomy body paint photo shoot. And a little bit of backstory, I, uh, there's nothing new about body paint, there's nothing new about muscular body paint. So obviously Steph's very athletic. I wanted to use her and paint muscles on her, but I was drawing back from experiences within my anatomy class and having this teacher in this very boring classroom talk about different, uh, <laughs> I don't know what was talked about in that anatomy class, honestly. There was two girls beside me and I blame these two girls beside me for uh, why I didn't do well in that class. Nonetheless, we're talking about neural filters today, not the art class, but I wanted to draw from this experience of the anatomy class and make sort of like this educational uh, poster or textbook look. So these, uh, these, these uh, filters, if you will, these, uh, under style transfer kind of caught my eye and I started playing around with a dozen of them. You can see all the sorts of, they don't name them, they're just famous paintings that you can pull from the palettes of these famous paintings from. Here's Starry Night. And uh, you can see none of these really work for the look I was going for, but I came across this one here and it kind of reminded me of this old school style, like anatomy drawing, and I loved it. So I went with it, but as always, you don't ever wanna just blanket apply something to your image. You wanna customize it and make that image yours based on your vision. So we've applied the filter, Command J, go ahead to duplicate the layer. You don't wanna work destructively. And then Shift Command A on a Mac to bring up your camera raw. And this is where you can customize the look. I go into basic, I'll make it a little warmer to give it that aged look. I'll reduce the contrast and make the subject pop out. Enhance the clarity. I will enhance the vibrance. Go down to color mixer and I want to target the reds because the reds are the common theme in this uh, photo shoot. Red kind of associated with a muscle um, versus like her skin tones or the yellow of, I guess, I, I don't know, like fat, I guess. I don't know what that, but anyways, um, we want to enhance the reds and uh, a lot of good my anatomy class did. And then enhance under the saturation, the reds and the luminance of reds. You can see the before and after. 
Uh, I think I like it. I think it, it looks it looks pretty good. And there you have it. And that's just a basic overview of what you can do with those filters and how you can uh, use Camera Raw and uh, various other filters. Let's talk about curves really quick. Let's use a curves adjustment layer to further customize this, this layer. I'm going to uh, bring my curves like so. You can see what it's doing to the, the um, the darker areas of the image, you're bringing them towards the lighter parts of the image, and that's further enhancing the image. And then let's just place a center point in our midtones and bring those up, and it's kind of given more of an age. Let's let's check it out before and after. I like it. It's adding a little more of a pop to the subject. Again, I've talked about this before. If your subject is blending into the background, chances are you're somewhere off in your editing or somewhere off in your exposure, your lighting, or your um, settings in camera. So always make sure your subject is standing out from the background. All right, and I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and hit Command F to uh, merge all those layers, and I'll Command J again to duplicate the layer. Command I like to, once I know I'm happy with something, I'll Command F it to flatten the image and make it look good, and uh, or get it to where I can simply edit, I should say. And from there, I want to add uh, basically little diagrams or photos. I had this vision in my mind of like an old uh, diagram. So I go to stock photos or uh, public domain photos on Google. Another platform you could use is unsplash.com. They have hundreds and thousands of artists on there who contribute. I contribute as myself as uh, as an artist myself on that platform. Uh, stock photos that can be used for whatever project you have going on. So check out unsplash.com. I have a lot of photos up on there uh, from creative work. I don't put my clients or my paid work up there, but uh, yeah, check out unsplash.com. Now we can um, apply, so here was the original image. Let's pull that up. I had all these effects and uh, diagrams and I put these like uh, labels and all that. I'm not gonna do all that, but right now I will show you how to just apply like something like this image here. And uh, go ahead and resize it. Let's do that and place it like so. And basically what you wanna do is use um, a variety of blend modes or layering masks to get it looking right. So we can go to, uh, let's go to, what's what looks good? Uh, that one looks good, a darker color. And it, you can see the background has merged with that blend mode into the background that we're using. And I like it. Uh, last, let's go ahead and add like a rib cage or something. Again, I don't know why there would be a rib cage right there uh, in a muscular diagram. Uh, but you know, you get the idea. We're just, we're just doing this for example here. And uh, I think it looks kind of cool, so. <laughs> Um, you know, art doesn't have to make sense, right? That's, that's the beauty of art. Let's go down to, uh, let's see, darker color doesn't work for that one. I like, uh, oh yeah, overlay looks good. What do you think? Yeah, let's hit overlay and, uh, let's this time use a mask to get rid of those harsh lines from the obvious fact that it's a photo that we put in there and you, uh, make sure your brush color is the opposite of your mask here. So our mask is white. So we'll use black Hit D for your original colors, X to toggle your colors. And yeah, just paint away using a low opacity, that harsh line and making it look like it's part of the image, part of the photo. Again, this is like supposed to be some, like in my narrative here, some poster in the classroom. Of course, if this was a poster in a classroom, I'd just be looking at this poster rather than paying attention to the teacher, but we're all professionals here. So we need to be, uh, be keeping our mind on task here. All right. And that looks cool. Um, something like that. And of course I would blend it even further, maybe add some labels that doesn't look the best. Actually, let me just use even a lower opacity to, uh, over the hole. There we go. Something like that. And then I'd repeat that process, maybe add a couple other images, but you get the idea. So that is using neural filters within Photoshop to achieve a certain effect that you might be going for. Utilize it for your graphic art projects, for your photos, whatever the case may be. It's a cool handy tool within Photoshop 2021. Make sure you get the latest version of Photoshop. I hope this has been helpful. If it's been helpful, consider giving me a thumbs up, a subscribe, or whatever the case may be. I don't really care for all that stuff. I just like making videos and helping people out. But uh, feel free to support if you like. Until next time. Until next time, keep creating. I hope to uh, see you on Instagram. See you on YouTube. And I'll catch you in the next.